Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of my 3 part YouTube tutorial series where I will be showing you how to create this particular animation in After Effects from scratch. And I know you guys must be thinking that this particular tutorial is only about this animation and nothing else. But let me tell you in this particular tutorial I have covered some of the amazing techniques that I regularly use to create all those amazing animations. Also if you are new to this video make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for some amazing After Effects tutorial and make sure you watch part 1 of this 3 part YouTube tutorial series. So without any delay, let's get started. Now here we have a new comp in After Effects and let's create a new solid of white color. And then apply effect generate gradient ramp. And just the start and end position of the gradient ramp to get a nice diagonal gradient like this one. Now let's draw a rounded rectangle shape at the center of the composition. You can definitely adjust the roundness of this shape using the up and down arrow keys. Remove the stroke from the shape and add fill color. Now let's rename this shape as box. Align the shape to the center and turn on 3D for it. Next let's apply gradient ramp effect on this shape and adjust the pointers. Select your shape, press P for position and then ALT click on the stopwatch before it. To add the expression, value plus, open brackets, 0, 0, index, close bracket. Press CTRL D to make a copy of this shape and parent this copy to the original box layer. With this little trick you can add extrusion to any shape and turn it into a 3D object with slight gap in the position values. And since the renderer is still classic 3D you can easily add gradients to all the shapes. Drag the copied layer down to the bottom of the original layer and then with Ctrl D make multiple copies of it. And there you go you have nice 3D extrusion in a simple shape. And now since all the layers are parented to a single layer, once we animate the parent layer, all the layers follow it. Now to make it more realistic, make sure the first and last layer have the same type of gradient which is different from the gradient applied on the extrusion. Now let me quickly add some animation in the rotation values of this shape. After setting up some nice keyframes and adding a loop out expression, here's what the animation looks like. And now it's time for some magic. Take a new adjustment layer. On it apply effect color correction, colorama effect. Adjust the colors of your colorama effect. And now let's animate the phase shift value by adding keyframes to it. Apply easy ease on your keyframes and adjust the speed graph to get a nice smooth animation like this one. Now look at the interesting result. This is a great technique to have in your arsenal and something to be creatively experiment with to see what kind of dope shit you guys can come with. So with this particular trick you can add gradients to all those 3D objects without using the Cinema 4D renderer. Now let's talk about another technique that we are going to discuss here which is displacement map which is quite literally used to displace objects and you drive the displacement using maps created in After Effects itself. Let me show you how. So to show you what this means let's take a new composition where we have called a new solid, applied gradient ramp effect to it and then applied colorama effect to it. I am speeding up this part of the process because so far we have repeated it multiple times and I believe now you know how it actually works. But you can easily follow all these steps to create a nice black and white pattern just as I created here. Which is going to work as a texture for our displacement map. Now that we have the texture for our displacement map, let's create a new shape which is going to be a rounded rectangle but you can take any shape of your choice. Once you have aligned the shape to the center, apply a nice gradient ramp effect to it. 
Next, go to Effect Distort Displacement Map. Change the displacement map layer to the white solid. Make sure the source is set to Effects and Mask. And once you increase the maximal vertical displacement, you can see the distortion happening according to the displacement map layer. And this is such an awesome technique because you can be really creative with your displacement map to control the results. Since the displacement is very sharp, let's go back to our white solid displacement layer and add a fast box blur effect to it. Once you increase the value of the blur radius, you can see all those sharp edges getting converted into sexy curves. Now let's go to the Colorama input and add a timestamp expression to the phase shift value. Time times 100 and now we have a really nice sine wave effect. Now the key thing to remember here is that you can use any shape or layer to use as displacement map and you can apply this effect on any shape or layer so you can just be as creative as possible. Now let me show you a practical example combining all these techniques that we have learned so far to create something amazing. Let's start by creating a new composition and creating a square shape at the center of it. Rename this layer as bottom since this is going to be the bottom of our 3D shape. Next, create a null object and rename it as null bottom control. Make sure the null is set to 3D and parent the bottom layer to this null object. Now sit back and watch how I create all the faces of this 3D shape with easy to follow strips. Since all the faces of this 3D shape is connected to the same null object, let's use the null object and animate its rotation.
Now that we have our 3D box all set and animated, let's start by coloring all the faces of this box with the help of gradient ramp. While I'm using gradient ramp to color all the faces of this shape, let me tell you why I created this 3D box out of all the 3D shapes. Now since the render type here is classic 3D, we can easily add gradient to all the shapes, which was not even possible in Cinema 4D render. Now that you have the gradient adjusted for all the shapes, select all the shapes and slightly reduce their opacity to make this object translucent. Select all the shapes and create a pre-comp, let's name it box main. Now apply the colorama effect to it and adjust the colors accordingly. Now let's animate the phase shift value. Now make another copy of this composition but make sure you change the source of this composition as well since we are going to make certain changes inside this composition that should not be getting copied into the we are going to use this composition as a displacement map so we will be removing a colorama effect from it and inside the composition we will select two faces which will be completely solid black in color. Outside this composition we will create a new circle shape layer. Now let's add some colors to this shape using the layer style gradient overlay. Next, select your circular shape and go to Effect Distort Displacement Map. Select your box main displacement map layer and choose the source type to effects and mask. Now when you increase the horizontal and vertical displacement value, as now the circle gets distorted as if it is inside the glass box, which feels like it's being refracted through the glass. I've also added some animation to the circular shape to make the composition much more realistic. Look how dope is that. Next I turned on collapse transformation for both the compositions and added a new camera to create the isometric perspective. Now that our 3D objects animation is ready, let's add a nice background to it. For the background animation I will use the same colorama technique.
At last, to take it up a notch, I have added an adjustment layer through which I can add two effects, glow and noise, to it. And here's what the final animation looks like. So cool, isn't it? Now, if you really like these techniques, make sure you try them out and share a token of your appreciation by liking this video. Once you create something amazing using these techniques, don't forget to share on your Instagram and do tag me by the name Motion by Akash. See you in the next video.